Honestly, if I was a man, I would only date single mothers or people to, or mothers, period. What do you mean by that? Because I'm honestly, gonna stop you there. I'm, I'm gonna be, I mean, no, let no, me, no, I'm, let me, I'm, let me, let me, I'm, let me get the explanation to that. I feel like motherhood changed me so much. Mm -hmm. And although I'm married, I'm not single. Mm -hmm. Mental, my mental, that my, it's not because I'm, I'm, my, my mental isn't married. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My yeah, mental yeah, is my yeah. mental. What? So when I tell you, my, my, a lot of stuff about me changed. I value myself more. I value my time more. I don't really give my time, and my energy to shit that just don't, that don't matter, don't equate to nothing. Mm -hmm. So if I was a man, especially if I was a man that was older in age a little bit, you know, like Papa, I would literally be like, you know what? <laughs> I want a single woman because a single, a, a single mom, mom, they know how to get done. Mm -hmm. They, they literally, they, they really be like the, the grade A people for real, for real. It'd be us single women, the, uh, the, them, not us, because I got to But you gotta be careful. But Why when I, I was, advocate with you that, do have though. to be. Well, first of all, young lady, you're not a man. So please stop saying, if I was a man, I would do this. It's very annoying to hear women say that. Second of all, you're married. So you shouldn't even be trying to give advice like that, especially to men. You're not a man. I don't think a lot of women understand the L's that men take when they deal with single moms. If you deal with a single mom, the child is not yours. You don't have ultimate authority. You can't discipline the child like you want to, right? That woman might all of, all of a sudden say, you know what, I don't want you in my child's life no more. Just because she's mad at you or something, you get into it or whatever the case may be. Now the man has lost contact with the child that he built a relationship with. Not only that, let's just say that you are with somebody for a long time and that child becomes like your child as a guy and you decide to break up with the guy, in some states you can actually be put on child support. Oh, did you know that? Yes, because the court is all about what's in the best interest of the child, right? Yes, this happens. If you don't believe me, go ahead and look that up. There's a lot of L's that men can take. Let's also add in the financial responsibility that a man takes on when he gets into a relationship with a single mom. Let's look at the opposite side, the reverse. When a mom gets with a single dad, the dad is still the main financial uh, bearer. He's still the one providing the most support, the most money, and all of that. He still has the ultimate responsibility. But when he's in a relationship with a single mom, he, doesn't, he has the ultimate responsibility, but he doesn't have the ultimate authority. See, women don't tend to think about things like that because they're only thinking about what would make them feel good and rightfully so, what would make their child feel good. I think a lot of women need to spend more time thinking about things that men have to deal with. Just like women look at everything through their female lens, they should try putting on a pair of man's lens sometimes. And what I mean by that is actually talk to men and listen to them and understand what their concerns are. Instead of just writing them off and saying, you know what, you're a loser because you don't want to get with a, a woman that has children. You're not understanding every single thing that that man is signing up for at that point. It's not the same for you as a woman. So if a man is apprehensive about getting in a situation like that or fully committing to a situation like that, I just gave you a lot of reasons why. Maybe he also thinks that you still have a connection with your ex. That's something that's also always in the equation, always in the picture. If that father is still involved, then now he has to also deal with that father, not just you as the person that he's in the relationship with. So he's dealing with you, the father, and the children. And at any given moment, all of that can just go away. And then in the end, he can still be financially responsible for children that are not even his. So for once, ladies, for once, stop looking at everything through your lens and try to put on a pair of man's lens by asking men what they actually think, what they actually feel, and why they are reluctant to do stuff like that. Because it's not the same. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.